Hello again and welcome back to Eco Dream Venture. My name is Kelvin Simmons and today we're going to be talking about how SureStreamer makes powerline networking practical, effective and safe for your ASTA Gigabit Powerline Adapter. As in the videos for the WD Live Wire as well as the HDPLC, we're going to show you two things. We're going to prove to you that Powerline experts are absolutely correct in asking you to follow all four impractical restrictions because if you do, you get a decent enough connection rate to stream HD files. We're also going to prove to you uh, that by just adding SureStreamer at the Powerline adapter end, we'll be able to create a Powerline adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe, and at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended by the experts. So let's get started. We have the same entertainment station we have here. Again, the PS3 game console is going to stream the full HD file from the server using Powerline. It's going to be um, displayed on the 42-inch LCD TV you see here. We have two laptops. Again, we added an additional laptop because the um, uh, Powerline adapter, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Gigabit Powerline adapter's utility uh, does not allow you to track the connection rate. So we needed a more a practical way to track the performance of the ASTA Gigabit Powerline adapter. So both these laptops here are going to stream additional HD files from the same server through the same Powerline adapter. We have the four port switch uh, that's going to be connected to the laptops as well as the PS3. And then, of course, we have the ASTEC um, Gigabit Powerline adapter here and the LCD TV. Now, all the equipment here, again, draws power supply from one electrical wall outlet. And because we were confined to this impracticality, let me just show you we needed to use a power strip. But again, as before, in both the videos with the WD Live Wire and HDPLC, you'd notice that the Gigabit Powerline adapter is, is the only one that has power supply. And the power supply for the inter interconnected equipment here has been switched off. Okay? Again, we will show you that this uh, plug corresponds to this power strip that has all the interconnected equipment switched off right now. Okay, again, you notice that we did not use any surge protection device. Um, the Gigabit Powerline adapter plugs directly into the power strip. Also, you notice, again, we have the same uh, cell phone or mobile phone here, which is plugged into a mobile phone charger, which is not turned on. Okay, so we intentionally followed all four impractical restrictions recommended to us by the Powerline experts. Let's take a look and see if we can stream a full HD file from the server, okay? Again, you notice that both the uh, laptops are running on battery as the interconnected equipment power supply has been switched off. So I'm going to go to the main folder again, which is sample videos from our network, subfolder, which is HD videos, and we're going to try and stream a full HD file from the server. Okay, so while this is loading, I want you to bear in mind the audio and visual of this full HD file. Okay, so immediately you'll see that if you follow all four impractical restrictions recommended by the experts, a full HD file streams flawlessly. Okay, but immediately you notice that this um, setup here becomes very impractical because you have um, all your equipment here like a PS3, two laptops and an LCD TV. You want to make the most out of the equipment you have here. So let's take a look and see if we can actually create a power line adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe and at the same time um, ignore all four impractical restrictions. Let's start by turning on the um, cell phone charger, turn on the switch for the interconnected equipment and I'm going to turn on the cell phone charger right now. Okay. Okay, so immediately you see when we turn on the cell phone charger, the HD stream lags both in audio and visual and stutters both in audio and visual. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is continue ignoring more impractical restrictions. I'm going to turn on all the interconnected equipment power supply here. Okay. Now, now that we've turned on all the interconnected equipment power supply, I no longer have to stream the full HD file from the server to this laptop. So I'm going to turn off the stream right now. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream a full HD file from the server using PS3 where it's going to be displayed on the LCD TV. Now, one more point to note that because now the switch has been turned on, I'm going to reroute the connection from the Gigabit, gigabit Powerline adapter which was solely connected to the laptop just a moment ago. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to disconnect uh, the LAN cable and plug the HD PLC, I'm sorry, unplug the um, Gigabit Powerline adapter's cable into the switch. And from the switch, plug the LAN cable into the laptop. Okay? So now I'm going to um, start off the PS3. Okay. Just get the right input. 
All right, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go to the same network. Just one second here while the PS3 boots up. Just bear with me here while PS3 boots up. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go to the same server, same main folder, which is sample videos. Sample videos. I'm going to go through the same subfolder, which is HD videos. And now we're going to stream a slightly longer 1080p file, Big Bug Bunny. And we'll take a look on both the audio and visual. Okay. Now, bearing in mind, this setup is streaming the full HD file from the server through the power line adapter without sure streamer, okay? Let's take a look and see its performance. Again, the loading time takes a little longer without sure streamer. Oh, there we go, okay? Okay, so immediately you see that the gigabit, gigabit power line adapter is struggling to stream the full HD file um, through the power line. Okay, it stutters both in audio and visual. Let's take a look and see what happens when we ignore more impractical restrictions by adding a search protection device. So I'm going to stop the stream right now and I'm going to include a generic search protection device such as the one that I have here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the power supply for the power line adapter. So if you come closer, you can see that I'm going to switch this off. Okay, remove the power line adapter and include the plug for the generic SPD onto this power strip. Connect the gigabit um, power line adapter onto the SPD like such. Okay, and to the power supply on. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do again is just try and stream the same full HD file from the server. It's gonna be displayed again on this T uh, LCD TV. I'm gonna go to the same main folder which is sample videos subfolder HD videos, I'm going to try and stream the same full HD file, Big Bug Bunny. Again, while this is loading, I want you to pay attention to both the audio and visual while, while, it's, um, while it has finished uh, loaded. Okay. Again, this is without sure streamer. We're still waiting. Okay. So we've continued where we stopped off, and you can see that the, 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 uh, the moment we've included an SPD or generic search protection device, the audio and visual lags tremendously, okay? Which means that we've proven that the uh, Powerline experts are absolutely right. If you want to get a smooth um, HD stream, you have to follow all four impractical restrictions. If not, you get a result as such, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to show you what happens when we include Sure Streamer into both the Powerline adapter setups, starting with this particular entertainment station right here. So let me just switch off all the power supply for both the Gigabit Powerline adapter and the interconnected equipment. I'll stop this stream and turn the um, PS3 off. Turn the monitor off. I'm sorry, the LCD TV. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off all the interconnected equipment power supply. And I'm going to introduce Sure Streamer. Okay, so I have a Sure Streamer model here, which again is a performance proven lightning isolator also, or a um, um, performance proven search protection device. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the power supply for both the plugs right here. So if you come uh, closer, you can see that I'm going to switch off the interconnected equipment power supply as well as the one for the gigabit power line adapter. And I'm going to remove the um, generic search protection device from this setup and replace it with our Sure Streamer model right here. So just take a look again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the Sure Streamer into this power strip right here. The Gigabit power line adapter is going to be plugged into the dedicated outlet on the Sure Streamer, like such. And the interconnected equipment power supply plugged into the Sure Streamer, like such. Now this is just half the story because obviously we have to include Sure Streamer on the other end as well. So if you follow me, I'm going to include Sure Streamer on the server end as well. Okay, so again here you can see that we have um, another gigabit, gigabit power line adapter uh, connected. So what I'm going to do right now is turn all the power supply off for both the power line adapter and the interconnected equipment. So let's log this station off. Let's 
it's a second here while it would stand. Okay, right now I'm going to turn off the power supply for both the interconnected equipment and the gigabit power line adapter. And this is the sure streamer model. Again, this is a performance proven uh, surge protection device. I'm going to remove the plugs right here and include sure streamer. Plug the sure streamer into the wall outlet. Gigabit, gigabit power line adapter will be plugged into the dedicated uh, socket of the um, sure streamer. Oh, the LAN cable has been removed. Let me just plug it in. And the interconnected equipment plugged into the sure streamer as such. Just like that, we're going to turn on the power supply, put up the equipment here, and we're going to return to our entertainment station and we're going to stream the same full HD file from the server. Let's see the results again. Okay? Okay, so now we've included Shure Streamer on both the power line adapter end. I'm going to turn on the uh, power supply for the Shure Streamer right now. I'm going to turn on the power supply for the interconnected equipment as well as the mobile phone charger. And then we're going to stream a full HD file from the server through the PS3. Again, it's going to be displayed on the LCD TV. Okay, just bear with me here while the PS3 boots up. Okay, let's go again to the same network. Just give it a while for the PS3 to find the network. Should be up in just a moment. Now again, for those of you who've just joined us, this setup has now been included with Sure Streamer on both the giga gigabit power line adapter ends, okay? Just one second here. The PS3 has to find the network, okay? Okay, let me just go ahead and scan for the network. Now, while we're waiting for this to scan, you've noticed that all the interconnected equipment is now sharing the same wall outlet as a power line adapter. And you've noticed that you're plugging the power line adapter through a performance proven um, surge protection device. And on top of that, a noise generating equipment in the form of the mobile phone charger has been switched on. All of which draw power supply from a single wall outlet through the Shure streamer. Okay, so let's just Give this PS3 a little bit more time to uh, find the network. All right, so the PS3 has now established connection with our network. Let's take a look and see what happens when we stream the 1080p Full HD file from the server through the um, PS3 and then um, on the LCD monitor, uh, LCD TV, okay? So we're gonna go into the network main folder, which is sample videos, subfolder, HD videos, and we're going to stream the same 1080p full HD file, Big Buck Bunny. Now while, while this is loading, again pay attention to both the audio and visual. And then while uh, when that has finished um, uh, loading, we're going to proceed to the laptop 1 to stream another HD file, uh, and then laptop 2 to stream, uh, to stream the third HD file, okay? Now again guys, for those of you who have just joined us, um, we are streaming with Sure Streamer um, included at both power and adapter ends, okay? Alright, so as you can see, the, both the audio and the visual is started and lag free. Let's take a look and see what happens when we include a second HD stream from the server. So I'm going to go to the same network. I'm going to go to the same main folder, which is sample videos, subfolder HD videos, and stream another 1080p HD file from the server, which is going to be um, displayed on this laptop through the same gigabit power line adapter. Okay? Okay, let's take a look at the audio and visual. Okay, as you can see, audio, visual, pristine. Let's go ahead and, and, and see what happens when we stream a third HD file from the server. Again, we're gonna go through the same server. We're gonna go through the same main folder, which is sample videos up for the HD videos and another 1080p trailer inception this time okay let's take a look at the audio and visual of this loads 
Okay, great. As you can see, audio and visual, they're fine. Okay. So as you can see, by just adding Shure Streamer at both the power line adapter end, we managed to establish or create a power line adapter setup which is practical, effective and safe, and yet at the same time ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended by the experts. The result, you're able to stream three HD files from the same server through a single gigabit power line adapter, when without Shure Streamer, you, couldn't, you could barely even stream a single HD file. Okay, so you can expect Sure Streamers to be installed globally as soon as we get a global partner. And the reason we need a global partner is because we anticipate that we won't be able to cope with the demand of sales once Sure Streamer has been launched. Now, we've been trying to get ourselves a global partner for the past few years, but without any luck, this demonstration will help. Now, if you're all interested, curious, or maybe a bit skeptical of the, of the results you see in this demonstration, we urge you to contact us, give us a call, write to us, email us, perhaps even fly down here to see the demonstration for yourself because we really hate to see a great product like Sure Streamer go to waste. So thank you for following me and thank you for your time. My name is Kelvin Simmons from EcoDream Venture and remember with Sure Streamer, you'll never miss a bit.